Today, I'd like to show you our tab reporting, and show you how simple and easy it is to use in your tab company. Right here, you have your new project or open project, and you also have several different features listed on your main screen menu as well. But for demo purposes, we simply want to open our project here, and we're gonna open a Tesla project just for demo. Under, under our project piece here, you have your print project screen. Within print projects, you have your cover, certification, and your standard additional reporting forms as well. Within this screen here alone, to issue a final report, you can sort this by multiple types, sheet type, unit, system, location, and service. You also have the ability to select specific sheets that you want to print or unselect as well. If you currently hit your print button here, it'll print to an Excel file. If you only want to print to a PDF final report, just simply hit PDF and click print, and it's going to do a printing report. What this does is going to bring up your final report to review, then you can email it to a customer directly or save it in a, a file. We'll give it just a second to let it load here. As you can see, it's only a six page report as it is a demo report. I'll bring slide this over to our screen here. With this, you can see, zoom out just a little bit. You have your cover page, which is gonna have your logo, whether it's NEB or AABC. You'll have your company logo and your standard information as well. As we scroll down to other pages, you'll see how it looks in the format. So with Ameritech, we have done everything very clean, formatted the margins. And you can see your borders are gonna be standard places around. You have your readings. This is an actual air apparatus cool test report. But you can just see how the output looks. Now, we don't have a lot of data in here, but anything that has a calculation will be auto calculated with it as well. So again, very clean, very simple to use. Now, if you do have your own forms, we can certainly use your own forms as well. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's go ahead and close back out of this. So that is as easy it is to do printed project. So here I wanna show you that we have our standard button here, which is great because it gives your project information. You can set up your cover page, your instrument calibrations used on the job, you in system diagrams, notes and summary. This is where you'll input that basic information for any specific job. Now here we have a couple of check and balance measures on every job. So one is report form status. So as you can see here, you have the project information and you have complete, submit, and delete. So we have this design as the technician in the field, will, as they finish doing a test on, we'll say, air apparatus, they can simply hit complete. As a project manager comes along, they'll come by in here and just click submit. So now you know it's ready to be submitted for final review. And kind of same thing around, so it's a check and balance setup for technician and also the project manager. We also have a missing information report. What this report will show you is if you're missing a field within any specific report, it's gonna populate here. You can click on that specific report and go directly to that to edit that if you need to. So again, some small checks and balances. And the other check and balance system we have in place is designed around you know, air apparatus or any other reports that you would do. So we, if you have two technicians on one job, you know, the system has its checks and balances. So if two Technicians go out and they do measurements and if the measurements are the same, it's going to write the, the exact number there, the measurements the same. If the measurements are going to differ, it's going to write both of those measurements and as a project manager, allow you to review which one that you want to keep. Or send the guys back out there to retest if there's two different measurements, of course. But this is an example of our air apparatus form. So you can see it has unit, motor, motor volts, tests, static press profile, and two as well. Now, one of the nice features that we have within our program is we allow you to pre-engineer and we also allow you to save a lot of time, um, not only for the project manager, but also the technicians. So let's just say you're doing AHU-1, for example. Here, you're going to put in your information. It might be roof, et cetera, right? Well, you may have another air apparatus on the roof as well. So you may just want to simply copy this. And what you're going to see, you got two AHU-1s. All you got to do is simply come here and rename this to air apparatus 2. Very simple to do um, by simply duplicating a page or pre-engineering as, as you might call it. We also have the ability to take an insert from a library. So if you had a document that was very similar in the past, you can simply insert a page as well. So we'll go and add that and close that out. And here you can see now this is added to the report. So again, great ways that we can save you a lot of time. And if you wanna say, hey, I wanna save this report to add the future reports, all you do is simply click to add the library and voila, it's done. Another great feature that we have is also when you're talking about VAVs, we have the ability to autofill. So you can kind of see here, you start numbers one, number the 64, or maybe, maybe let's just do a new one, for example. So one, 10, location, let's do first floor, size 12, 
by 12. And then we simply hit autofill. So with there you can see, again, if you have either one or they have 65 VAVs, now you can simply quickly fill that information out. Of course, you'd put type, design flow, and you'll see the darker piece here is going to give you a final calculation. So again, finding more ways to save you time and money on every specific job. We'll close back out of this piece here. So here you can see the multiple reports, air apparatus, your, your fire heat report, heat pump, electric cool, fan test report, your traverse reports, duct air leakage, and a few other ones as well as we see. We also have hydronic reports, you know, package chiller, pump test reports, buller, you know, as well. And then the other great feature designed with Into the Talents program is we have user divine reports, anywhere from four to a 12 column report. So if we click on one, you can simply see what that looks like. You can simply put test data directly in here. And again, just simply creating you a six user report. So that's very nice to see. And again, you can create autofills with those as well. So as we talk about more options, so again, we have security. So if you want to password protect your database, you certainly can. You know, prevent technicians from going out there and changing names or, or et cetera. You know, if you want to also print blank forms, you can simply print print Blake forms and this way a technician could take it to the field or you just have another copy of what you have as well. Again, you can see all this information's here and you can check all or you can check specific ones to print. So again, just giving you that extra options to do more with, with the program. Um, and then here you have the ability to edit your, your customers and your employees. You know, again, it's all going to bring you back to this final report where now you can have your reports library, which you have all your reports. You know, after a certain amount of time, you can start archiving projects. You know, what this will do, it'll give you easy access to search for a project. So I'll kind of give you that. You can simply start typing the name, the project, or go whatever you want to go to. You can see here we just have tons of demo products within the system. And voila, you're ready to go for a new project and start working away. So I hope you've enjoyed the overview and see exactly what the tab reporting modules can offer you and how it can help assist you in your company in organizing and operating the workflow. Thank you very much for your time.